What's up, guys? Charlie NASCAR here. Coming back at you with a new season. A little bit different changes to the channel. For those who have not seen any of my other preview videos, I heard from some other YouTubers that have talked about it. I am not doing the pick four contest no more. I'm not going to even pick my top four drivers for the race. Except for I will give you all my fantasy picks also, which is... No, it's five drivers. Okay, I'm cool there. Yeah, so the pick four contest is done. I wanted to straight up talk about NASCAR, not running any more contests or any of those other deals. Because, you know, I did this race for the purpose to talk about NASCAR and racing. So anyway, guys, we're in Daytona. I just got done watching qualifying, about ready to watch the Bush Clash. Pretty shocked that Ricky Stenhouse Jr. won the pole. I mean, when I did my fantasy lineup this week, in my fantasy lineup, we get to pick four drivers and one in the garage. My fantasy picks was Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Ryan Newman, and I put Jimmy Johnson in my garage, thinking maybe with well, being a last season, he might have some magic. And I'm going to try to do this season, like hold Jimmy Johnson in my garage for fan in fantasy, because I think he will get one more win. I just don't know when that's going to be. But yeah, Bush Class, I'm excited about that. And, you know... I'm just excited to see some racing. I know some of us, we prefer the Bush Clash at night. I kind of like the fact that it's during the day. I want it around the same time the race starts. So these guys use that information for the race and makes a, a better Daytona 500. You know, you got 25 guys that are all locked in, really good with some more practice time under their belt. It's going to make the race really good, especially when they get mixed up. The guys are inexperienced in those rookies. That's when the chaos happens. That's when strategy happens. It's going to make for a real interesting race. As I just said, you know, it's going to be Jimmy Johnson's last season, so this will be his last Daytona 500. I, I don't know if he's going to win it, but I have him in my garage for a reason. See, other news. Okay, we're also going to see debut of Cole Custard in the 41 car. And, you know, Daniel Hemrick in the 8 car. No, not Daniel Hemrick. Tyler Reddick in the 8 car. Also, what I'm kind of interested to see is how these Gibbs are going to roll out. As much as I hate Toyota, they're all going to be during, I was watching some practice since qual practice yesterday, and those guys were lining up really well as a team together. They had all five of them in a row, then Denny Hamlin decided to be a jerk towards Suarez. Suarez is driving for the Galt brothers in an affiliate Toyota car, and he started just, I mean, I understand he's testing for the race, and I don't like Denny Hamlin anyway. But, you know, seemed kind of low on Denny Hamlin's part. But Denny's a douche. I mean, you know, he's the type of guy, see, who let the dogs out in the Baja Man song. All right. Also, one other thing, no DW this race. I personally, towards the last couple of years, have kind of gotten annoyed with his commentary. But, you know, I did like him in the beginning. I just think maybe it was his time. It'll be just Jeff Gordon and Mike Joy in the booth. So hopefully the commentary is a lot better. And anyway, guys, my winner, my winning prediction, I'm just picking a winner. I'm not picking a top four no more. I'm picking my boy Ryan Blaney to win. Won Talladega last year to give himself in the chase. He's got Todd Gordon, who's crew chief Joey Logano to many plate wins. So I think he can do it, and I'm hoping he can do it. And anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the race. Let me, you know, let me know what you think about the race coming up. Comments in the section. I, lo I love talking about NASCAR. So in that spirit of that, enjoy the 500, and more importantly, fuck Toyota.